Good morning everybody. I have put on a mask which I am just about to take off. It's been on for quite a little while. Um, myself and Adam have been to the gym this morning as you saw and um, I am starting to edit the vlog from the last few days now we've got batteries. This feels great. Um, and then I'm going to pop on some things that I bought. So I bought the Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate and I rebought this because I was desperate for my skin to have it. Um, so I'm just trying to make an overlay here that says Vlogmas. I didn't really have anything for the background. I really should have thought of that beforehand. So it's just going to be like an overlay at the beginning of every day. Got some nice music from Epidemic Sound. If you're a YouTuber or anything, I highly recommend those. I literally emailed them like two minutes ago and they got back to me straight away with a question. Um, so yeah, they are very great. This is how advent calendars work, right? <laughs> okay, so here are some of the other things. This doesn't normally live here, this section that I've popped up. So we've got that, this on the bathroom door, and then this on here. I think it's kind of nice to have something to show people when they come here. Where are you going? In the bathroom. This still needs fixing. Terrible. You having a little wash? And then we popped this on the banister, which is the same one um, as we've got on the fireplace. And it actually like comes to here, and I've just tied it on, I need to hide these a little bit better. Um, so it's just two, which I've just tied on with some string this year. Um, a little bit of mistletoe. We've got a ho-ho-ho here. And you can get little things like this, and I'm pretty sure this was the range. Lots of our little things are from the range. Um, you saw that yesterday. Um, this little thing here, so we just like to pop little things around the house. We've got some glittery stars, little tree, another little tree on the other side. This room will obviously be cleaned before people come in. Then I'm not quite sure how I'm setting this table yet or if this will even stay here, but I've just put a bowl of like some golden pine cones and baubles here. I'm not quite sure where that will go yet, as I said, but it's there ready. And another wreath that we had, I've just popped up here. And you can see the Christmas tree, yay! We have a, another wreath on the back of the door with some bells. These are just some random white bells that I bought at the time. Why is it so wonky? And on the other side, just a little star. Here then, let's remove the advent calendar. <laughs> we have got um, two squizzles and these which fit some tea lights in this which is doesn't ever go anywhere it's always there um, and then I've no idea where I got these I'm pretty sure these were in the background of like my one of my very first YouTube videos I'm pretty sure and obviously this which we will be opening together from the 12th day before Christmas I've popped these two little things as well on here so that they looked quite cute Random little things like some stars hanging. That's on the light. And then this is our, it's not very straight anymore where the dogs have been. And um, this is the, what's it called? Fireplace, the fireplace. So just another one of those wreaths and I've put this one on it as well. This like baubly one, I just like intertwined it with our stockings. So we've got three doggy ones and mine and Adam's. And then a Noel sign. And two, lots of Adam's birthday cards. And two reindeer, one that's um, been in a war of some sort. It's only got one antler. Another one here. So, it's just the tree left to do. Yay! It's all blurry, why is it blurry? Yay! Okay, my little trick for this is where there are big gaps. That's where the little baubles go, or the big baubles, sorry. And most people, I think, do big baubles towards like the bottom. I kind of just go a little bit everywhere where there's a big gap. 
um, just for like some more balance and then go back in with the little ones and I do put some more of the little ones at the top so these are the ones we've got so there's loads of glitter coming from them um, from various shops I wanted a sort of more of a golden and natural theme with some sprinklings of white so um, I will zoom in on some of them as we go through but we've got some like glittery reindeer some stars some wooden things and yeah a real mix but it looks really pretty when it's all on the tree together so let's go I realised something else that I do is that I get all of the baubles that are the same and spread those out across the tree. So what I've done is I've taken the big baubles that look the same, so the glittery ones, and put those into the holes in the tree. And now I'll go for the next big things and look for holes in the tree and spread those out as well so they're not like close next to each other. Okay, so now I'm adding the white. I've done like most of the big baubles and the wooden things. Um, and now we're on to our little white things. So we've got a little stag, an owl, some nuts and a squirrel, which are not focusing. Um, and then we've got some white ones here, some stars. So I'll probably do move then onto the other baubles and then maybe the reindeer to fill in the gaps. Okay, so we've mostly got now all of the big things and some of the small things on. We've got some of these um, natural type hearts here and then some wooden ones underneath as well. Then just the little baubles left. I like to use the glass and the sort of sparkly ones just to reflect the lights of the tree. And just making sure that I'm sticking with a sort of natural theme. So we've got the metals from the earth and the wooden colours. I think it looks quite nice. We've also got a few sort of special ones on here. So this was from my mum um, when she went to New York, a little special angel. We've got a Christmas tree, which one day when we have children would be nice. Um, it's a magic key to leave for Santa. And a little tradition that um, me and Adam started last year. So inside these, these were originally from Sainsbury's um, and that's cork in there now because we pushed the cork in. We put, when we pack the decks away, we write in here our wishes for the, the New Year's wishes and then get them out then with the decks to see if they've come true. So that was a nice little tradition. Hardest bit because it's so heavy. It's going to be hard. Hi everybody, it is now Monday, it is 25 past 6 and, I don't know why I felt like I used to show you the clock, um, I've just got in from school, um, I'm going to go and film my ASOS haul which you may see tomorrow, possibly, um, yeah I'm going to do that as like kind of a different video like but a little sort of sneak preview. Um, this necklace is from Primark, a little choker with the belt, the trousers and the shoes. So that's a little sneak preview of what's to come tomorrow. Um, I'm just, oh, I've <laughs> just put a little bagel in as well. Um, I'm gonna ask Adam if he'll pick me up a Subway on the way back because 
I really don't want to cook and I just want to go and film this now um, and just like get it done so I want to do that and then I also need to edit ready for the vlog to go up tonight. Tonight? Tonight? I don't know tonight. <laughs> Um, but then hopefully I will have some time to, I keep showing you the clock as if hopefully I'll have some time um, to maybe do something Christmassy or watch something Christmassy because I don't feel like this this vlog has been as Christmassy. Maybe I'll show you a bit of tinsely type stuff to make you feel Christmassy. <laughs> don't know what I'm doing. Um, I've literally just come in and look what Indy has done. So this here is, yes you, can't tell him off because I didn't catch him in the act. So if I just tell him off now, he's not going to know what he's just going to think I'm angry and not understand the reason why. Um, but uh, all of that stuff there is not as much rubbish as I first thought when I came in. But that's basically... Sorry, battery went. Um, and what else you saw on the floor there was the chair with like the massage thingy on it. So, yeah. Terrible angles all the time. Um, yeah, so I'm now going to, actually let me talk you through my new tack. And do you know what, in this vlog as well I might show you my ASOS items because then I've like tried everything on. So I'm not going to do the ASOS ones in like a separate video, I'll use this as like the ASOS haul. Because they're basically like the same item I've just ordered loads of different versions of. Um, and I'm just going to film my, what am I filming? My Primark haul and then... I will come straight back to you and we will look at ASOS stuff. So here is a sneak peek of today's OOTD correctly and I really love these trousers, didn't think I'd love them that much and these shoes guys so can't wait for you to see this video with all of this stuff in here and some jackets and stuff. Oh my gosh. I've just eaten a massive subway. <sighs> one of those you know I'm gonna show you now the ASOS stuff that I got um I've still got these jeans on from the haul as well <clears throat> but I'm gonna show you the things I got so sticky thingies which I needed for one of the items that I've bought um I'm probably just gonna do this like vlog style like put a few different things on show you in the mirror I wanted something for my Christmas party that made me feel slim so I've gone for black so this would be the first item which is a jumpsuit and this would be the one that I would need the covers for just because it's sort of low on the side and low at the front as well um, and <laughs> I feel like I might need like to be taped into this as well but it's um, quite a flattering one, comes in tight on the waist as well um, and I don't know whether I would wear this with sort of heels or with a sandal but um, I kind of feel sort of smart when I've got this on so yeah having a little think about this one and this is it minus the marks on the mirror <laughs> close up with a little tie which you can obviously tie wherever you want um, yeah. some little pockets as well there and obviously I could jazz up with like anything I wanted to make it more, I don't know, I'm thinking like really bronze skin or something as well. Okay so this isn't how I would wear it, I've got another top to go over the top but um, I just wanted to show you the pretty lace on the body um, and I've got to hold it because I definitely need tape. <laughs> um, so yeah this is a body and then these trousers which I love, I know the two looks which I'm so it was either that one or this and I've got a couple of like variations of this um, so these then are some wide leg trousers with a tie and um, yeah they're just really flattering wide legs so I'm going to put the top on now and see what you think of that one okay so I ordered a mesh top but it's come with like a bra insert which looks like it may be detachable I didn't really want the bra insert but I'll try it on with it on anyway so this is the look with the mesh top on and obviously I've doubled up because I've got the like the little top that was on this <laughs> as well on top of the body so I don't know I suppose I could just wear that one 
or I could wear the pretty one underneath but this is the look then as a whole I feel a little bit more like I suppose covered in this one um, but also don't know if I look like I'm going to a funeral I'm not sure anyway my thoughts then were to have this bum bag on and they call it like different things like fanny pack and crossbody I don't know but this has got a zip on the back and the big one on the front and it's super flat so I'm going to put this on and see what it looks like I don't know I don't know if it just looked better in my head or what hmm not sure or does it give it something extra you know I wouldn't have to carry a bag around all night it's super flat to be fair um I don't know This then is the second top which I bought instead of the mesh one I have on which has got a tie back and some sort of frilly sleeves which we'll try on now. Surprisingly I actually like this one. So this is the second one with the tie neck detail. Um, but I just don't know if it's bag baggy and baggy look okay together. So. Or if it's okay because it's sheer. Hmm. Really need some tape though. <laughs> and then the last one. So this is not for like Christmas party. This is just two items that I liked. This is a body which has got a really pretty back. And some cropped high-waisted green trousers. So I don't know if I'm keeping either of these yet. I need to decide. Um, but I was thinking that this would be really nice for summer and would be pretty to keep with um, like a pair of shorts as well. Nice and airy. But the more I put the trousers on, the more I like them. So we shall see. I'm going to now show you some tech that we got. And um, so... I don't know whether to do this tomorrow or not, but um, I've had this mic for like a super long time. But I bought a kind of like a boom pole, which is this is like a terrible angle to show you. And this is like the cheapest way to do it ever. I think the pole with the stand, like as one thing, was like thirteen pounds. Then the lead was like super cheap, which is like an extension lead basically that goes from your mic to the camera um, and then this little thing which only cost a couple of pounds to adapt it and basically you've got like your own mic so I filmed with it today hoping that it will work um, so instead of that sitting on top of my camera you can adjust it and have it like wherever you want so it doesn't have to be right next to your camera and you can film from far away I am aware that this is the worst angle ever to film from and um, the second thing that I got then was this, which I've sat on top of the tripod, which is a slider. And this is amazing. I'll have to show you another day because I've got a clip on it at the moment at the back there to hold it in place. Um, this basically you can slide and it goes double the size that it is now. So it goes like, like say like through here <laughs> and the other way as well. So you can have like some smooth shots and go up and down. It also sits on like a tabletop as well. And I always thought sliders were super expensive, but this one I thought was relatively cheap. And I will link all of this stuff below as well. Um, the ball head then is what I have put on top of it, which um, just makes it more accurate than it just sitting flat on top of that, which probably most people have already got. So that's where it looks like. So your um, camera sits in there. And it's really clever because it's got like the degrees and stuff on it that it sits. So it's a clever little thing. So these were a back clip up there that I had. These um, are something that I bought. Um, I thought really clever for holding like backdrops in place. And then finally this little thing changed into my PJs as well. Um, which is really clever because it's a sort of light reflector but it's like five in one I think it's five in one or seven in one I'll show you now so I'm taking it out and this is what it looks like it's gonna pop up now. so this is it and it reflects um, really nice light it's also got the sort of daylight diffuser on the other side 
and it's got a zip where if you unzip it, it reverses. So you've got the, what's that called? Black, oh my gosh. I just did a diffuser there and silver. So it's like a five in one, it's like amazing. It just folds back down again and just fits inside there. So that is really handy. So I've just realized, I don't think I've told you the bunnies' names. So we asked you on nearly a vlog um, what you think we should call the bunnies because they were two little girls. And then when we went to the vets, we found out they were two little boys. So they were originally called um, Florence and Rose, Row and Flo, uh, which the children named in school. And we now have got Rose is now Peter, which one of you, that was one of your ideas, which I really liked. And then Adam, the one day, was like, oh, well, why don't you call them Peter and Pierre? <laughs> because they're twin boys. And Pierre is French for Peter, obviously. So these are Peter here with no white mark on his head. And Pierre with his little French stripe on his head here. So... Just giving this a little bit of a clean because they've been out on the floor and I need to tidy this up right now. Um, but yeah, I will show you them properly in the next vlog. Okay, I am going to go and take my makeup off and then go and, what is the time? Is it like about half? What's the time? Five to nine. Five to nine. So I'm going to go and take my makeup off and then probably go to sleep. <laughs> so I will see you in the next one.